smooch here, which is a quest druid. Um, there's nothing particularly fancy about it. People just didn't seem to really pick up on this archetype. They also decided to try and run uh, Mark of the Spike Shell to add uh, more copies of uh, the guff that you get off the quest uh, to your hand. But there's no other taunts in the deck. So why? You just don't need it. Um, most of the time you can just win. Just by doing token stuff, there's not that many decks that can actually respond very well to a Glowfly Swarm, a big one on curve. Uh, and if you can follow it up with an Arbor Up, or even double it with Solar Eclipse, you just win the game. There are still two minions in the deck, which is Park Panther, which we can fetch with Living Seed. So you can go quest into Living Seed into Park Panther on three, which is really good in tempo matchups. Um, and because there's so few uh, minions in the deck, you can run Fungal Fortunes, which is fantastic card draw. Definitely don't keep Moon Touched. Definitely keep a Park Panther. I think I might even keep them both. Because either way, you're only going to play one on turn three, and if you have Living Seed. So I'll coin one into the other. Dual kit off the top is a little bit annoying, but there you go. Do I nature studies? Yeah. I was just thinking about whether you can play around Yogg with it. Um, it's definitely not Living Seed, because I've got both my beasts in hand. Arbor up. I'm going three into four. But Moon Touched gets corrupted as faster and completes the quest. I guess I'll take the Arbor up. On the basis that I could go coin Panther into Panther into Arbor up and it should hit a minion. That's fine, I'll just pop the Divine Shield on that before they draw any more cards. Also sets up for Park Panther to efficiently complete the next stage of the quest. That's not good. That's probably the best card they could have had there. Uh, I think I just kill it. Yeah, Jewel Kid on one is a bit of an issue. They kept something else in the mulligan that was not Jewel Kit, apparently. It's that leftmost card. I'll gladly tank four here to protect the Park Panther. And we'll see if they have the Rush Minion. Still on 72%, 18 and 7 with this deck. It's very good. Okay, so I guess I arbor up. That lets the 4 3 kill a 4 5. Is there a more efficient way of doing that? Oh, there is actually. There is. Moon touched hero power kills that. A uh, little bit inefficient on the quest. I'd go to five out of five, then one out of five, or one out of six, then four out of six. Wouldn't have any way of doing the other two, but let me one shot the pack mule, and then the panther could kill that. I think it's still the arbor up though. It's so clean.
At least then with a 1-1 one, one against my... Well, either I pop the Divine Shield or I kill this 1-1. One, one. I should play the Arbor up from the deck so they don't play around the second one, in case that turns out to be relevant. Uh, the question is just, do I pop the Divine Shield while I've only got three cards in hand? And I probably do. Before they can draw Samuro or something, potentially. And lets them kill one of these, but that's fine. Ah, so they played a top deck dual kit. That's that's clever play. Trying to maximize tiltage for your opponent. Could just best in shell. And then Arbor up next turn. That's fine. Uh, I've seen both Hand of a Dolls, uh, but I will trade to play around Conviction a little bit. She did wind up playing around that perfectly. Ooh, double arbor up, you say. That goes up to six, unfortunately, so it doesn't one shot the four seven. Um I think I still do it though. Since I've just seen Samuro. Uh so four seven and a one 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 to go in there. So I'll kill a two two with that. I could be a little bit slow, because if they draw Vary and they get a reload. Ah. Wait, um... Don't you want to get rid of these first? No? Okay. Thanks. Um... That's an incredibly good card, though, on Curve, with this fucking jewel kit up. I think it's a race. Can I race them? Uh, 10, 16, 20, 22, 23. Yeah, I can race them. Can I complete the quest and play? No. But I can gain six armor. Um, would I be dead to conviction? Probably. Hopefully they don't have the lifesteal thing. Uh, can I hold off a turn? No. So I'll guide first, see what's in here. Uh, I think I take them both. Something like that. I'm at 29. They have 10, 13, 14, 15, 19. So they shouldn't have lethal. Question is, do they have the lifesteal thing? It's irrelevant. It's too slow. Uh, oh, or did they have a primordial... Or not primordial protector. The one one. There you go. All right. Um, hmm. Going first against Druid. Obviously, don't keep Snarian Ward. Um, Park Panther. 
might be a little bit slow going first. But it's also my best answer to an early aggro board. Mm. Mixed bag. Yeah, it is aggro. Luckily they played that one first. Rather than a uh, two, three and a taunt. If they do play two, three and taunt, or even if they just play the two, three, I feral rage. Yeah, that is annoying. I can't overload. Next turn, I park Panther and I kill that and whatever the next taunt is. If they have a uh, teacher's pet, the game's just over. If it was literally any other taunter, uh, we'd probably be fine. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, that might be to set up an arbor up uh, next turn. But I'll have killed the Anoyo on the two, three by that stage. Interesting that they buffed that one. If they buffed this, I would have been in trouble. Uh, but they definitely have an arbor up in hand. That's what that's setting up. I'm just going to ignore the watch post. It might actually um, prevent them from doing things as much as it does me. Well, not as much. But it means they have a minion that doesn't... <sighs> that was... That's pretty lucky to have hit two of those already. Especially if this is an arbor up turn. Um, okay. So I can Living Seed Arc Panther next turn, even with the... Let's see, it goes down to three, four. No, it goes down to two, and it costs three. Okay, we're keeping up. Need to stop the card draw. That's fine. I'm very happy to see more watch posts of Mad, frankly. They might be looking at composting. That's way better for me than a composting would have been. Way better. Um, I can kill every. Yeah, I can kill both of these, can't I? If I overgrowth, bog beam costs zero. Okay. Uh, they're in trouble now. I was worried there. Um. And they don't really have very good ways of interacting with Best and Shell. I've also just ramped past the point where uh, the three threes are getting in the way. Again, Park Panther. Absolutely brilliant. I think I just Best and Shell. If I can trim down their next couple of boards, all right. Um, then I'll just win the game slowly over time by having more resources, because uh, they really need to hit composting. I 
don't have a huge amount of initiative though is the only thing and they get value traits here what why why wouldn't you kill my stuff that's very strange uh, so the two of these kill two three I pounce and hero power and kill another one uh, if I hero power first that draws another card to power this glowfly swarm uh, and I'm happy enough with just the glowfly draw two off of composting if they play it now yeah once again the power of the park panther the power um i'm gonna assume it's uh elemental rather than quest especially since they just masked over these two cards so i want park panther again That's not a very good hand, even with the coin. The best in shell is okay against that deck, but not much more than that. Okay, nature studies. Do I play it this turn? I don't have anything to follow up next turn. I guess I try and find something for next turn. It's tough, these are all good. Living Seed draws Park Panther. I will have taken a decent amount of damage by then. But it curves much better with this hand. So next turn is Living Seed into Park Panther. Into, if it sticks, Arbor Up. But I doubt it sticks. Pants is pretty nice. Just trim that away. So the worry now is they have the 2-5, which I don't have a efficient way of dealing with. I'd have to park Panther and use the attack uh, from my hero on it. Gyreworm's fine. takes them off the board and then I can overgrowth into best in shell potentially this glowfly is gonna be stuck for a little bit because uh, I just don't have enough spells to support it at the minute the other thing that some people have tried which I've cut is running Umbralau and Umbrella just feels like such a bad hit off Living Seed. I like the consistency of this. Um, they didn't play an Elemental, and they just used a Lightning Bolt. There is a case for Coin Arbor up. Or Coin Glowfly? They don't actually have a good way of dealing with a Glowfly board. If I coined it, I only summoned four though. They can already kill one with that two, three. If I overgrowth, I have seven mana next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna guidance and see what I get. I can take the overload. Yep. So now I can play runic carvings instead of best in shell if I want to. Do I nature studies this turn or next turn? Probably next turn. That's pretty slow. Um, I wonder if it's, I don't think it's Doomhammer. 
If it is Doom Hammer, that's probably quite good for me. It's an easy Lunar Eclipse, isn't it? Yeah. Since I can play it. And... I kind of want to hold this Lunar Eclipse. Or sorry, Best in Shell and Solar Eclipse for next turn. So I'll probably just play the Runic Carvings and tell him to deal with it. And if this sticks, I've got Solar Eclipse Arbor up. If it's Doomhammer, the double best in Shell pretty much ends the game on the spot. But I, th I think it's the typical Elementalist. That doesn't give us any new information. So because they're going to take two of these off the board minimum, uh, I'll probably, yeah, I'll just do the double best and shell into Arbor up. Uh, do I trade into the 4-7? Probably. Yeah. Uh, there is also hero power single best and shell, but that doesn't complete a quest phase. Been playing Elemental last turn. Ah, been playing Elemental last turn. Yeah, you always double best in the shell then, because they can't play the Hex. So they can kill one of these two sevens. Maybe I didn't need to pre-bomb. Not sure. Uh, I'm going to need a Fungal Fortunes in a couple of turns, though. Even if I do get a good Arbor up off next turn. Which I should get it on three minions here. Yeah. That's what I'd expected to come down this turn. Um, I should probably trade everything away. Oh, ooh, that's a big draw. That's a big draw. Okay. One shot that. Um, yeah. I'm just going to trade... To play around... Oh, missed one damage. Never mind. Whatever. Um, it shouldn't deny me lethal next turn. This this board should be pretty much impossible for that deck to deal with adequately. Um, I wanted to try to play around the hex elemental. Yeah, that was a great top deck there. There you go, that one damage wouldn't have mattered. Okay, so I'll put some damage into these two because that's got Lightning Bolt in it. Fungal is a very nice top deck as well. Do I just have Lethal? Why am I doing all this? So if I hit one of the four damage things, I have Lethal, right? Uh, 10, 20, 26. If I can hit one of the four damage things, yeah. Uh, so I'll just dig. That's about 50-50, maybe one more than less. Okay, so that's lethal. Oh, not enough mana. Never mind, it's fine. I'm on 22 behind a 6-7 taunt. They only have two minions on the board. I think I'll probably still be able to kill them. Um, they could play the 6-4. Uh, Tidal Surge is the best that they can get off of this. Oh, Flame is actually the best that they can get off of this. 
Uh, it's not going to clear though. They could trade. Yeah, it does nothing. They should have probably killed the minion with the lightning bolt in it first. But it's just panic stuff from them. Uh, just flailing, trying to find an answer. Okay. Still dead. Not on board, but dead. And I completed another quest phase. Another win. It, it doesn't feel like I've played, you know, 15 games with this deck over the last couple of days. I want to get this 500 wins done on this stream, though. If we can do it in the next 20 minutes, great. It's going to be a lot tougher if there's... Endless quest mages with encounters flow in the opener, though. Okay, overgrowth's all right. I mean, look, I'm, I'm talking this way, but the fact of the matter is the deck still has a 65% win rate, which is fantastic. Uh, I might not Guidance next turn. In case I wanted to take both. Oh, for God's sake. Again. Um, let's take a Moon Touch to guess. It'll be Corrupted next turn. They are loving whatever cards are in their hand. That's, that must be the second flow. Yeah. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. All right, that, that might be in correct order then. You should probably shuffle the ignite before you do the second encounter slow. But like so much of his deck costs zero now, that just doesn't matter. Uh, uh, I guess I'll Solar Arbor up and pretend that that might do something, but it's, well, it depends on what they do with the rest of their mana here. If they draw cards, all right. So that's 8, 10, even with a double on one of them with a solar eclipse, it's not worth it. yeah. So double arbor up, see if something manages to get through. Actually, do you know what, I think I was incorrect there. I don't think it's that they're excited about the cards, I think it's there's some sort of program or something that they're using that involves, like this might be an accessibility thing actually. So I should, uh, I should shut my mouth more often, As, which I think has been a running theme for us, this stream. But still double encounter slow. Um, I just gotta hope both of their fire sails are buried. I might be able to attack with two minions. I need fire sails and flurries to be buried this turn. If this damage connects, I'm actually in a half decent spot. Uh, they can still draw a fire sail and have it be playable. That's shooting star, yeah. I pulled that one out of the rear end, didn't I? All right, 
Well, four got through. Use this to gain some more. Do a pounce first to make this mana efficient, or quest efficient. Park Panther, attack into that, gain another three. Then pounce, complete the next phase of the quest, draw a card. Uh, and then I'll hero power to get as much efficiency out of these out of my attacks as I can. So I now have 12 damage in hand and they're theoretically at 16. Okay, never mind, they're 24. But yeah, I have 16 in hand, or 12 in hand, plus another 8 from the guff. So, still need a little bit more chip damage or another solar eclipse as it stands. Still got two moon touched in the deck. Uh, this was from a nature studies, wasn't it? Oh no, guidance. Both nature studies are still in the deck as well. That was created by, I didn't start in your deck. Oh wow, the 4 3 survived. That is massive. That is really important that that minion survived. Okay, so this turn is moon touched. Which, and hero power, which completes the quest. So that's five. My nature studies at the end of the turn. Do moon touched feral rage. Guidance might find me a uh, Mark the Spike Shell. Um, I don't think Scenarian Ward is going to matter. Guess the weight can draw into Solar Eclipse, Solar Eclipse or Moon Touched Amulet. Guidance can also be card draw. Hopefully they don't have the second one of those. Because if they don't have lethal from hand next turn. I'd be amazed if I win this. They play double encounter slow in the opener. That's pretty desperate. They just tempo Dawn Grasp here. Well, they're dead on board if they do that. So they now I have the guff. They have to brain freeze this, or they're dead. They're digging. They can't play Ice Barrier, they're dead. There isn't a taunt spell damage minion. Okay, so on board they're still alive, but the Feral Rage is lethal. Wow. That's 500! <laughs> Probably should have done 500 wins a bit earlier, but maybe someday I'll have a beard like that, blowing in the wind. <laughs>